guys i'm here with the next part of the zodiac sign series 12 day sign series that i'm doing i was inspired by juicy ink and everyone that hopped on the bandwagon when she did her um, 30 day drawing challenge uploading editing doing art for 30 days and posting it and i thought that was wonderful and i thought i could do it but i couldn't so i tweaked the idea a bit and I'm doing it every other day. So every other day you'll see it upload for me. And I hope you guys just stay in the loop. And I hope you guys see your sign and give me some feedback on what you think about it. And um, yeah, at the end of the series there may possibly be a little surprise. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, okay. <laughs> to the art. The medium I'm using this time is acrylic paint. Ugh. I, I, me and acrylic paint have a love-hate relationship. <laughs> like, I love the outcome of it, but I, I absolutely despise the process and working with acrylic paint. But you know, I make do, and I, it's, it's a beautiful medium, and I applaud everyone that can do it and make magic with it <laughs> now all the feed all the research and feedback that I got a lot of um, sources told me that Gemini's not necessarily have multiple personalities but they have two different kind of very different traits they have some good traits and some bad traits as do everybody but it's mostly apparent in them and that's why they're called like the twins <laughs> and a lot of people portray them as the good side and the bad side so I took a little spin on that but it's not necessarily bad <laughs> but um yeah as you can see I have a redhead and a blonde and they don't necessarily look like twins like identical but I, I'm thinking of them as conjoined twins since it's more so a personality thing and they just can't get away from each other because it's always going to be there. <laughs> yeah, the redhead reminded me of Megara. Meg? Megan? Megara? We're just going to call her Megara because I like the way that sounds. Sounds like Pokemon. Anyway, <laughs> she reminds me of Megara from Hercules and I, I love her and I kind of want to draw her now that I did this. But maybe after the challenge is over, I haven't been getting any that many free drawings in for myself that weren't related to the challenge because it's honestly been tiring me out. <laughs> but um, yeah, I had so much trouble with the outfit. I wanted, like, we're gonna call it Megara to have like ban a bandage chest or whatever, and you can see a little bit of cleavage, and then the other sister to have like. A fancy dress but it just didn't work out so I just gave her some booby tape and I gave her the bandage top that's kind of turning into a tank top and not so much a bandage top but you know it's working and you're gonna see me mess up so I'm just gonna leave so you guys can laugh at me and I'll be back to Ugh, okay <laughs> That was just heartbreaking for me. I teared up. I I was so much so frustrated. Ugh. I have this terrible habit of like swiping the page after I make a line or, or whatever. I don't know why. It's, uh, it's just a stupid habit. And I love this pen so much, and that's why I can't do it because it takes forever to dry and it smudges so much. But um, it's a uh, Uniball vision micro pen it's waterproof and fade proof but apparently not heavy handed swipe proof Ugh. <laughs> but um yeah all the supplies are linked down below in the 411 box and I um, hope you guys enjoyed and keep following me on this journey and let me know if one of these are your signs and um, give me some feedback because there's going to be a fun little surprise once I finish with this series. And I want everyone to be a part of it. And um, thank you for watching. Keep following your artistic journey. 
and I love you. Bye.